video now about how to cut this fine booboo where you see for the screen so now we want learn so this will be very simple to cut and it's very stylish to wear so if you're ready make we start i would like to first thank all my old subscribers for coming back and if you didn't new for this channel i beg help like share and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching so this bubu na just two years of fabric name i won't use because the bubu lens go day for my knee level and uh, this fine african print now i won't use this and color so i don't fold the fabric into four so i fold them into four as you see me demonstrate for the video for the screen so so and i don't use my chalk mark out the wrong side so on the wrong side of the fabric will be so that i know go they confuse because the fabric almost they equal for the back and the front so now make we start the first thing now to outline the measurements we need so the measurements are just the sleeve measurements the where you want to make your sleeves reach so for me i want to make my sleeve reach 20 inches so i go mark 20 inches i go mark them down somewhere then the length of your booboo gown so my own i say like i say i just want to make it reach slightly below my knee so now 36 inches then be my gown length so 36 inches then be my so for here so the next thing after that now to insert the neck measurements so the neck measurements we are one use now three inches uh, sorry the width of the neckline see i'm for here the width of, width of the neckline will be four inches so i want to use four inches because this and uh, this thing will get with so four inches by for the front i will also use for the front i will use five inches four inches by five inches for the front neckline then for the back four inches by two and a half inch uh, sorry one and a half inches then i go use for the back so now here be one and a half so i will just connect them here now freehand cut in the dish then i will also connect this one straight to this point so we are there so it's now that's the front and this now the back neckline so i hope they're very clear the next thing now now from this point i go mark my sleeve length so okay now here my sleeve will reach 18 inches so i will just mark the sleeve length here like this so make i just move the fabric so that you will see so now here my sleeve length the 18 inches so from this 18 inches point here for my sleeve i will come down by two inches just for my shoulder slants so from these two inches here connect them back to my neck points with my straight ruler so just like the normal way we say they cut our basic bodies just that this one i come down by two inches so i will connect these two inches down to this point here so that one don't set the next thing i want to do now from this point here i will determine the sleeve opening Okay, so I want to make my sleeve opening day 9 inches wide. So from here to here now my sleeve opening. So this now my sleeve opening. I don't mark them here. So you can see from here, from this shoulder slant to this point, now the sleeve opening. So after marking that sleeve opening, the next thing where I want to do now, now to determine where my hip, my hip measurement. So from my shoulder to my hip, now 24 inches around 24 inches so i will just mark the 24 inches here like this so this 24 inches now my hip line so from this hip line i go insert my hip measurement my hip measurement now 40 so that 40 divided by 4 now 10 inches so i will just add like one or two inches for ease so make i add two inches for ease here to make them 12 so I will just add the 12 inches here. I will just add 12 inches. So from this 12 inches, now my hip measurements. So you see, then I'll come for the full length of my gown. For the full length of the gown here. 
so i will also mark that 12 inches i'll just add one inch for ease so i'll just add them here so you see i'm then from there from this hip point this hip mark here i will connect them straight to my sleeve opening here so i will just use this my curved ruler the connect them i will use them like this to connect them so now so i'll just connect them like this then i will mark them down like so so you can see see how the cloth don't be so the next thing are for us to cut the pattern now so you see the neckline the back and the front then the shoulder from the shoulder uh, from the neck point here i mark come here for the shoulder slope by two inches connect them back to the armhole leave the arm where uh, sleeve opening there then i mark up so the next thing i have to cut okay so the next thing now now to cut the back neckline first so i'll cut out the back neckline like this then i'll cut out the shoulder i'll first trim out the shoulder slope so so after that i'll come cut the sides so we'll make i cut the side now so remember here so i'll just cut out the side like this <coughs> Next thing, first I'll trim off this part. Then I'll take out the back part. So I'll separate the back. Then I'll fold the front back together so that I'll pick out the front neckline. So to cut out the front neckline, fold and back, and just cut. So you see, I'm now have to go join the front. See the front. Join the front and the back together. First of all, <coughs> so I go join the front and the back neck <coughs> uh, shoulder. Join the shoulder seam for this side. I think I spread this side. So we don't come. We'll join these shoulders together like this. So I'll join the shoulders for the two sides first. Then I'll join the sides before we'll connect in the neckline and the sleeve opening. So maybe we'll go our sewing machine and go join them. So the next thing now to join the side together. So I'll just use my half inch seam allowance for here. Take join the half uh, side seam. So maybe start. So the next thing is to hem the bottom, the hemline, that is the bottom part of this dress. So make a hem now. See as I fold my, see as I fold the hem. Hope see the same. So I fold them like this and I'll fold them again. Then I will use my stitch runner. So I'll just take, come on this. Now put my all right so we don't sew the bias around the next thing I have to top stitch them then I'll come fold them like this so around the neckline okay we don't go sew the neckline firm so use bias stick tape them for the neckline so the next thing and I just go iron them and I go put them for the mannequin so that you will see the final outcome I thank you for watching I will see you for my next video bye bye